Yeah, and this is certainly a scenario as we go forward that is going to be very changeable during the day tomorrow, kind of in the morning, a gradual build to the heaviest of it as far as the gustiest of the winds and the heaviest of the snow it, during the afternoon and into the evening. Winter storm warnings for a good portion of the state. Winter storm watches means uh, they haven't necessarily decided whether they will put those areas in a warning, but it is kind of a wait and see. While we have a blizzard warning from early tomorrow morning through early Sunday morning, right at the coastline where the lowest of the visibilities and the gust of the winds are expected to be area of low pressure develops later this afternoon will be passing to the southeast of Cape Cod closest pass to us as we go later tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. Not ahead of that, just a lot of clouds, a few flurries or a couple of light snow showers not connected to that storm system that could be out there during the afternoon, but nothing to slow you down. There is the beginnings of the storm system starting to lift northward after midnight tonight. Roads will likely not be awful immediately as the snow starts. It's going to take a while, but you'll notice that temperatures are likely only going to be in the teens as this entire storm system happens. That means a dry, very light, fluffy snow that will fall. That being said, snowfall rates could be at two to three inches per hour as it makes its closest pass, mainly during the afternoon and early evening tomorrow, and most focused in the southeastern half of the state, with still some light snow continuing to go through western and northern areas, but not that two to three inch type snowfall per hour. It will gradually wind down as we work our way through Saturday night, Sunday, a windy day, but again, that light fluffy nature to the snow means a lot of blowing and drifting. It also means blizzard like conditions, or at least nearly blizzard like conditions closer to the coastline, and that's where we're expecting the most snow out of this and again there's going to be a lot of blowing and drifting of that very fluffy snow over a foot of accumulation looks like at least a bare minimum from Manchester and Rochester toward the coastline and then you can see the amount scale back just farther away from the area of low pressure itself as we go forward so as far as all of these effects it isn't just the snow it is the wind which again will start to gradually ramp up during the morning hours tomorrow some gusts over 30 miles an hour in inland sections some gusts over 40 miles an hour closer to the shoreline which which could reduce visibilities down to less than a quarter or an even eighth of a mile. So this is that time during the afternoon or early evening tomorrow. You're really not going to want to be traveling in this. You absolutely have to. The winds do switch to the northwest as we gradually work our way through Saturday night and early Sunday, but that's going to continue the blowing and drifting Sunday morning before the wind gradually lets up during the afternoon. So the impacts again, it is the snow, not necessarily heavy in weight, but heavy in intensity during the afternoon and evening. Very difficult travel because of that and also the wind, which will be around through Sunday morning. Coastal concerns, at least right now, at a bare minimum. What happens after this system? Well, something probably totally unexpected expected after highs in the 20s Monday. We're talking temperatures warming and we could best 40 degrees for a couple of days during the middle of next week.